Now, if you recall, Descartes has set about a path to truth and knowledge, and in order to do so, Descartes needed to disregard anything that can be doubted. By the end of the first meditation, Descartes was in a state of universal doubt. By understanding that the senses do deceive us, and we have found ourselves in dreams indistinguishable from reality, it is possible that they always deceive us, and we are permanently in a dream state. Descartes envisioned an evil demon which is set upon deceiving us in every possible way. Descartes concludes by doubting the existence of the physical world and with that doubting the existence of his body, his senses and everything around him. Yes, this was a very interesting conclusion he reasoned to. Indeed, in the second meditation he continues this line of thought and carries on doubting. But now he asks, if he is doubting the existence of everything, is he, as a living being, included in this everything? 